We're gonna roll the drum to our Maori family as they're making their way. Let's let's let them hear it as they're coming into the protocol tents here. Oh, Then I'll go.
We are Maori uh, from New Zealand, Aotearoa. And our culture, we greet the sky and the earth. No reira tarangi e tūne ka mihi. Te papa e takoto nei ka mihi. And then we greet their descendants and those that have departed. No reira ngā tini aitua ka mihi, ka mihi, ka mihi. And we weep, katangi, katangi, katangi. Those that have gone to the stars, rato, kua petu rangitia. And those that have descended, that have gone forth by the sacred waters to Hawaii Nui, Hawaii Ro. Waiki Pama Mao. And therefore, the descendants, we, per, we, fare, we farewell you. Haere Atura, Haere, Haere, Haere. And then, following on from that, we greet the people of the land. Noreira. <coughs> te tangata whenua Koutou Squaxin This is our greeting to you Ka nui te mi Ka nui te aroha o te ngākou Tēnei mātou ngā Māori ko tai mai ki konei Kei te mihi aroha ki o koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. And so, Squaxin, we greet you with our hearts and say greetings, greetings, greetings. And so, who are we? We are Māori from many tribes. And because we're from many tribes, we say, Tene Mato Nonga Hoe Fa. We are from the four winds. And we say we are from the two tides, Nga Tai Rua. And so, because we have so many tribes and we're so uh, intermingled, we have some from up north, from the north. We have some from the east, some from the west coast, and some from the North Island of Aotearoa, and some from the South Island. And they bring with them their ancestors and the greetings of their ancestors and so this is us who greet you humbly this day. And so once again, te nā koutou, te nā koutou, kai te mi. When we first built a humble uh, Māori canoe at Evergreen State College. We never thought that we would be using that same canoe and that same canoe would result uh, in this wonderful occasion as it has. And although it was a Māori canoe, it was built out of uh, the sacred cedar. And it was built 
by two coats as Māori and the Tangata Whenua of this land. And so on this, this year, we created a double canoe called a waka unua because our waters are sometimes rough, our ancestors quite often would link up the canoes for a safer journey. And so we joined our waka to another canoe. And that canoe <coughs> is a squaxin canoe. And it was at John Smith's place, and so we lashed them together in the traditional style of a waka inua. And so our canoe was a squaxin canoe and a Māori waka joined as one canoe. <laughs> and that's what we are doing here today. Joining our ancestors with your ancestors, our hearts with your hearts, and our aroha with your aroha. And we are all one. So once again, te nā koutou, kai te mi. So I want to thank Mike and Marissa for allowing us to use their canoe and to make this such a memorable occasion. And that canoe, we called it Tūrongo, because on one side, uh, the canoe is named Rongo, which is a god of uh, uh, peace and sharing. And on the other side is Tū, uh, a lighter, a lighter canoe, which is uh, generally associated with with male things. And so, <coughs> so once again, thank you. As I said before, we have many others from other tribes who may wish to uh, speak, and I won't take their voice, so I'm going to invite them now to share in this occasion and give them their opportunity to, to honour you. So once again, Squaxin, greetings. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do uh, Takiri Rangi's Waiata first, his song. This here song is about. Uh, is a canoe song and it's about the canoe of Maya Te Tipua Tika Nuya Rauri and um, it was at a time when Maya left the homelands and uh, he was talking to his canoe and he was saying things like Kia kaha, be strong sail strong carry on, you're not going to tip those sorts of things you're saying to the canoe. And this is our song, 
that we uh, sing at this time to honour the the kōrero for the speech that Takirirangi, our master Kava and our waka uh, tohunga. Um, and after that, we'll do some introductions and and we'll honour you. Thank you. Uh, there are also our fellow travellers who travelled with us need to be acknowledged. And those were Ojibwe, Noreda Ojibwe, Ahakoa Heat, Kaponamu. We have a, a proverb which says, although it is small, it is a treasured possession. No reira jibwe te nā koutou, ka mea. We also had Yakama people who travelled with us. Te nā hoki koutou, greetings also to you. Uh, we had a young guy who, in the first time that we travelled here, uh, we got inundated in a chop with water, and his uh, bailing duties were exceptional. A very important component. <laughs> and so, uh, Max, we acknowledge you and your people, uh, the Alabaskan Aleut and Aleut, and also we w I want to acknowledge the uh, members of the Oliver family that travelled with us. Which is very, very important because right from when we started participating in canoe journeys, they have been very, very supportive and encouraging of us. So I want to uh, acknowledge uh, the family And also to the uh, Komatua uh, Emma Oliver, uh, Noreira e Tarangatira, Tinei te mihi o te ngākau ki a te ākoe, a taino ki tō whānau, te nā koutou, te nā koutou. And once again, Squaxin, uh, thank you for your generous hospitality. Tēnei te mihi o te ngākau, te nā koutou, te nā koutou, te nā koutou. Uh, 
Someone said it was Sasquatch land or Bigfoot land, so they must have taken it all. And then we started our journey in Salem and traveled down their ancient river, hang on, Bobby, with Lamet. Um, traveled down that river, and we finally met the sea at Columbia, went to Portland. I never paddled so far in my life. <coughs> but, <laughs> but however, that's what it's all about is bringing our people together and using the tribal journeys and your canoes to strengthen our children and make them much better people for our future. And that's what it's all about. It's our children is more important. <laughs> if it wasn't the dream of these elders that began the journey, we wouldn't be here because it's our children that brings us here, not us. So, to you children that participated in the journey, kia ora kia koutou katoa, ngā mana o nui ngā kaha ki roto. And then we got here, and I saw my first snake. Um, <laughs> but uh, it is important to know that the same water, the same Pacific Ocean that laps your shore also laps my shore. And that's what joins us together as people, our waters, our canoes, our sea. And it's a pleasure and it's an honor to travel um, on your ancient waters, the highways that your ancestors used. But I'd also like to go back to my family, the Grand Round, and the Chinook, Tenakwe Bobby, 
and our aunties and our children. I'd like to pay knowledge for Bobby for bringing us here, skippering us here. Um, he also gave me a paddle on a skipper on Stonky. So, uh, and I think Stonky went very well after that. No, I didn't. But, uh, and uh, must pay homage to our canoe, Stonky, that brought us here safely, and our children. And yesterday, we decided that we will not paddle to, to Olympia, that we'll let our children paddle, because it's about them, it's not about us. It's about them experiencing that. And in another 20 or 30 years, they'll be telling their grandchildren their experience coming here to the Squaxin people land, to the ancient lands and ancient waters. That's really much I have to say uh, to the Chinook tribe, Kia ora kia koutou, Drew, and all the other people, tēnā koutou, kuri noe roto to tātou whare, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora menura tātou katoa. As I'm saying in Māori, it is, it's our blood that joins us together, but it's our tears that show our love to each other. So in our hearts, the tears are flowing. Um, might not see you guys for a long time, but tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou.
in my heart. I'd like to thank the Scots in Ireland for, for hosting us, for taking care of us, for feeding us and washing us. But uh, I'd like to thank you for your hospitality. Uh, to the Grand Ron, to Bobby and our whanau up there. It was awesome to see our, uh, our tamariki, Hoi Ate Waka, out there on the water. Uh, I know it's a good kaupapa, uh, and I hope that uh, you keep it going, because uh, back home we had the same thing. We try to encourage our kids to take part in our canoe Cook well. It's been good traveling with these as well. Uh, it's a hard pull. Uh, nine days on the water. Man, I think it'd be, ten, I think it'd be bigger than Bigfoot. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to thank the Fano up there for uh, taking care of us. And uh, they're not good things. They're not good things. They must. First of all, me at you, Jacoto, a Kaumata, Menga, Hokanga, a Turanga Waiwai, the Penua Nei, the sacred lands of the people of, the, of these lands. And me at you, Kyakoto. Greetings to you all. Uh, greetings to all that are gathered here today. Nga mihi atu kia koutou. Tēnā koutou, I greet you once. Tēnā koutou, I greet you twice. Tēnā koutou katoa, I greet you all. I'd like to acknowledge the Grand Ronde family. Mihi atu kia koutou. Bobby Ma. for having us here. He mihi aroha ki ao koutou, who give you the biggest of love. Ah, ko wai yo, who am I? Ko parata te tangata, my chief is parata. Ko kahu te anui te paia. <clears throat> ah, te ingoa o Ngāti Kau, Ngāti Kahu te ihu. Ah, our tribe is named after our, our princess, 
Her name is Kahuti Anui. The name of the tribe is Ngati Kahu. My waka, o te waka Māmoru, is the name of the waka. The name of our canoe. Our mountain is Maunga Tanifa. Maunga Tanifa to Maunga. Ah, te awa, Aurere. Ah, ko hau te noho kainga. That's my home, Aurere. It's where I live, next to the sea. Nā reira, purino, purino. I greet the whole house. Tēnā koutou, ha tēnā koutou, ha tēnā koutou kato. Ah, he mihi poto tēnei, my uh, greeting is very short because I don't have much words to say. I'm a man of very few words, I guess. Uh, but uh, thank you to all. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou koutou. Hamasi. I've been waiting a long time to get this mic. It was almost like the wait we had out in the bay, in the sun. But I must say, being under this whareanui, in this house, it is much cooler than out in the bay, and the wait isn't too bad. Squaxin Island, we greet you. We thank you. Last night, after we, we were one of the last groups to come in, and to paddle in and to show off our, our, our paddles and to show off our strength. And um, so we were last to leave. And we greet you because there were a lot of volunteers that would come up to us and say, are you okay? Do you need a ride? We said, no, it's okay. We're just resting. We've been pulling for a while. So we're just having this time to rest. And so we greet, we thank all the volunteers that, have, um, that we've seen everywhere. The signs, Squaxin Island, you've done an awesome job. You've done an awesome job, and you're still doing an awesome job. So awesome that we were waiting for a trailer last night to come in and pick up our waka. And there were a few saying, shall we put it on here? Oh no, our waka, we've got two, one side by side, so we need a wide trailer. And so, um, so we thought, we'll just wait, we'll just wait. Meanwhile, 
we were starting to uh, say to our skipper, we had, we had a couple of skippers, because we sailed and paddled with the um, Skokomish, with John Smith and his family. And we, we, we thank John Smith and his family. Um, and so we were saying to Skipper John, hey Indian, where's the trailer, man? We needs to go to Squaxin Island to eat. They said they've got food for us. It's getting late. He said, it's coming, it's coming. Māori, you just wait. It's coming. So um, we, jumped on a, we jumped on a van and we said, we're out of here, man. We're going to go and eat some of that awesome food that Squaxin Island said that they've got for us. And it was pretty late at night and we thought, mm, maybe they've gone to sleep. Let's go and have a look. And when we got there, we were greeted with the salmon. We were greeted with the, with the clams, with the, with the elk, with the gooey duck soup, the corn we just sat there, and the fried bread just come in. It was hot. It was beautiful. So we greet you again, Squaxin Island. You're awesome. So awesome. You fed our bellies. And after a long time getting here, because we, we would like to say we paddled from New Zealand, but I don't think you'll believe us. <laughs> so we come on that, uh, the bird that they call Alaska Airlines. <laughs> At this time, we're staying with in the, the Skokomis Reservation and we, we're so grateful and thankful for that. My wife and I were here when they had um, the canoe journeys to Makar, to Nia Bay. And that was awesome. And we thought, man, we, we gotta, we, we've got to be on, on, a, on a canoe this time. So we didn't, we didn't care which canoe we were going to jump on, we just needed to be on the water. And of course, John Smith is always there first to put his hand up and you're saying, you're coming with us. You're coming with us. And so we, um, with Takiri Rangi, our skipper, made it possible for us to do this. We're going to go home and tell our people you need to come over here and have a look and see what the, our Indian relatives are doing. You know, they've, they've got protocols, they've got tikanga customs, they've got histories, they've got kōrero, they've got principles and values that we need to take a hold of. We took a whole lot of photos of the signs just walking into the, into the reservation here. The stuff on, you don't need the dope. All that stuff, we need to tell our people the same. There's far too much consume, consuming of alcohol. And I must say, I think we drink a little bit too much of that pop too. So we might need to go back to drinking more of the water. But we thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts. And um, with our group, because we, we only just met up with our whanau, with our family that have been paddling with uh, the Grand Ronde. And so we're sort of making it up as we go. We have in terms of, of speaking, so I, I hope that we're not um, standing on, on the customs of who's allowed to speak or anything. We, 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 we're not wanting to do that, but we've got to let you know the tribes and the sub-tribes that we come from, because we represent our people and from the different places of New Zealand, from Aotearoa, the land of the long white cloud. And I was really hoping for a long white cloud yesterday waiting in the bay. But it's a good thing that they have sunblock and because I wear far too much clothes on a lot of the times, this is how our people used to dress in the old days. And I'm getting a little, a little bit too fair skin. I need to get darken up my skin a little bit more so that my grandmother can and my grandfather can recognize me and say, there's my grandson, the little black one right there. That's my grandson, the little darkie. Fano, that's the word we use for family. So we say to you, Fano, te nakoto, we greet you. Um, my daughter said she learnt a song while we were waiting out, there, out in the bay and it was quite a cool song. 
after, a, after about a couple of few hours, and she was starting to sing it to me before I come to the mic, and she said, Papa, short and sweet, short and sweet, short and sweet. We learned it out, out on the waters from some of the other canoes. When, they were, when, they were, when a group of canoes all paddled up and asked permission to come aboard, they started chanting, short and sweet, short and sweet, short and sweet. I've got the mic. I'm going to like my, my uh, coffee. If I did drink coffee, I don't take caffeine, but if I did, I'll have a long black one. Okay, but um, my daughter won't give it up, so... My wife here, she comes from Ngā Ariki Kai Pūtahi. The Mangatū area, that's her father. Her father is, is equivalent to a chairman. He is the chairman of our reservation. We don't call them reservations there, um, but when we get here, it's pretty much like our reservation. Our Papa Kaing is what we call it in our village, the Mangatū village. So I'm living with my wife's family. They're looking after me, and I love it. They treat me like a king. And her mum is from the, the Wanganui River. So my wife has said to our family that we're going to go back because we're not, we've, we've moved away from our, um, from our waters in terms of paddling on our waters. My wife's mother, my mother-in-law, is from, a, uh, from the Wanganui River. So my wife is saying, hey, if our relatives can do it here in Peru, we're going home and we're going to do it back home. So we thank all the canoe families for allowing us to witness this occasion and we're going to take it home and we're going to start our own back home. But we still want to come back here and join in with, with this. Travel journeys. Kia ora. We have my daughter here. Te huru te arangi, the white glow of the heavens. Te huru te arangi, Tawera, also named after her mother, Tawera. Tawera is the Venus planet in the morning, or the morning star. And um, also, Ta means to draw or to do art. Weta is hot, so I'm married to a hot artist. <laughs> she sells quite a lot of works to you, I must say. So my daughter, Te Huru Te Arangi, the white glow of the heavens. Our son with... That's our other son. He's our oldest son. Keenan J. Rutherford Kennedy O'Brien. He took the other side, the, the grandfather's uh, Europe, the Irish naming. Keenan J. Rutherford Kennedy O'Brien from the Irish side. Rutherford's Welsh after my wife's father. And so we're still naming our children after their ancestors, after um, their, their parents. And our other son, he's taking photos somewhere. He's uh, documenting. He's up there. He's going to try and hide away. His name is Te Awe Whetu Mihi Noa Tahuri. Te Awe, the feather. Whetu, from the stars. Mihi Noa. And a warm greeting to our son when he arrived. Because I was in labor for many hours. I tell you, my hand was sore after my wife was holding it. So we uh, greet and thank the mothers for bringing us into this world. Kia ora tātou. And we have with us also our daughter-in-law, Lana Hainga, and she comes from the east coast of um, North Island, and it's the first place, or well, the first city to see the sun. So we call to the sun, and we say to the sun, Hey brother, hey uncle, hey father, go slow. We want to do a few more things during the day. Travel slow and greet our 
American Indian brothers and sisters on the other side of the world go slow. And that's where we come from. We're just waiting for a marriage to happen with our daughter-in-law and our, um, son -in -law, our son, the boyfriend and girlfriend at the moment. But uh, we're going to get ready to cook up a lot of wild pig, um, uh, sheep, mutton, beef, cow, and uh, hopefully I can come over here and grab some of that elk and gooey duck. Mm. Take a few oysters home too. And um, so that's our family. So with, with my family, there are six of us. I must say it was, was a mission to get here, but we're here and we're loving it. And we're going to try and come back some more. We don't mind going into debt to get back here. We'll go and loan the money, borrow, beg, whatever we need to do to get back here. And I think I've said enough. I think you need to see some more performances, some, some singing, some dancing. Because back home, we do a lot of performance. And my daughter's saying, are you going to speak after every song? Back home, we just do one after the other. Bang, 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 and we entertain. Well, it's coming soon, because I said to her, we need to honor protocols first, customs first. We need to let the people, the good people, know what we're doing. We need to need, let you know that uh, a lot of our songs are ancient, and we've got a lot of modern songs too. And our drum, our drum, we beat on the ground on Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother. So when you see us perform, that's our drum. There's our connection with Mother Earth. And so we're going to do a, a few items, and hopefully we can um, explain a few. We don't want you to go to sleep. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Kia ora tato.
Okay, they're gonna, our girls are gonna perform the poi. P O I, poi. It's a ball on the end of a string. It was used by our, our warriors back in the old times. Now it was to get their wrist supple and ready to use the short club. And um, so nowadays, our women folk perform the poi. So watch for their graceful moves. Don't look too hard. You might fall in, fall in love. And I could be taking home another son-in-law. Kia ora. Our next song that we're going to sing is Paikia, Kahutia Terangi. Now, I saw, I think it was in one of the vendors' tents at Nisqually, someone was selling, selling one of the DVDs from New Zealand, and it's called The Whale Rider. We're going to perform the song The Whale Rider. When we were up at um, near Bay with the Maka people, we found out that they hunted the whale on the Japuts. And we, we greet you guys, the Maka people. And they did the whale dance and the whale songs at the end of protocols. And I stayed up late that morning. I asked, I asked John Smith, I said, Indian, permission to go to bed. And he said, Māori, permission denied. If I've got to stay up, then so do you. 
And so I stayed up that night, and it was good potlatch. It was awesome. So we're going to perform the Waio Rider song, Paikia Kahutiatarangi. This ancestor of ours rode on the back of a, of a whale from our homeland called Hawaii to Aotearoa, New Zealand. And so our traditions with the whale are still strong back home. Every time you hear the word ki ora, ora means to live, means to be well. So in our, the way we greet is we say ki ora, we say be well, live well, ki ora. Back home, um, a lot of our performances are done like on a stage. So that's why we're sort of finding ourselves in, in the corner over here, because we're, we're not wanting to face our back to anyone. So, um, and we know that there's a big uh, floor space there, but we, we, we know we need to face this way to honour the veterans and the people of Scoxon and the elders. So we've chosen just to perform in this little part of the corner so that we don't offend anyone with our backs. So to the people behind us, um, we apologize if it, we don't mean to offend. Um, we're gonna do a, a uh, crossover from the woman who've been in front. The woman, of course, are very sacred. They are, they are the, the bearers of our children. So at times when our warriors would go into battle, all the women and the children will be in the middle and you'll have the warriors out the front. Now it's time for us to come through and, and perform and do the haka. The haka. If you were to translate like um, a lot of these people that write books, they would say and refer to it as the war dance. That's just one way to, to sum it all up. So we're not coming out to, to um, want to war with you, no. There's a whole lot of different types of haka. And it's a, it's a, it's a dance. 
to help our warriors prepare themselves, prepare themselves for whatever they're going to embark on, whether it be a paddle to Squaxin Island, they'll do haka just to get everyone's blood pumping. And we saw that out in the water. That's what our haka does, is to get our people ready. Our men and our women folk, we're getting ourselves ready. So if you know anything about haka and if you only know it to be a war dance, then you've only just, on the, on the, you only know a little bit of what haka really is. So don't be saying to your neighbour, this is the war dance that the Maoris do. No, because we're not coming here to war it up with you. No way. We want some more of your food. We've got a whole week left here in Squaxin Island. We want to eat your food. So we just want to honour you with how our ancestors used to prepare themselves for whatever it was that they wanted to embark on. And so we're going to come through first through the woman and um, really like to use their floor space. I'm not too sure how we're going to with only a few warriors here. But um, we'll... My daughter's saying, how about a circle? Hmm. Good thinking. We might have stood in a circle. That's good. <laughs> Why didn't I come up with that? Anyway, here we go. The soccer that we're going to do now is performed, I must say, badly by our, our national rugby team, the All Blacks. We're the, we're the World Cup holders at the moment. Um, we went to, they come over to New Zealand just last year. The whole world, they had uh, the French, South Africa, England, Australia, those are the top teams. The, um, you know what? We smashed them all. And it is, it's probably the only thing we can be proud of in New Zealand is that we win the rugby. It's our national sport. And before the players go on to um, play rugby, they, they, they perform the haka. And this haka here was uh, composed or was performed first of all by one of the chiefs back home from the, the head of the fish from the Wellington area, Ngati Toa Rangatira Te Rau Paraha. Um, so this is the haka that all New Zealanders or all Kiwis, they call us Kiwis, that's our national bird, No, And also we got a few there we've seen on Facebook, a whole lot of white people trying to perform our haka and a whole lot of ladies and all sorts of people. Chinese, everyone's trying to perform the haka. We'll show you how it's done properly. <laughs> and um, Maldives make it up on the, on the spot. So if we're not feeling it from this end, we might have to go down that end and do it again. If we're not feeling it from there, we might have to go that corner and do it there. We might have to do it everywhere until we can feel, feel the love. Kia ora.
Did you feel that? I don't think we got enough there. Let's go to that corner, brothers. Let's go to this corner down here. Okay, we need to feel the love on this one. Perform to this side. I heard that the, the veterans over here. Where's the veterans? Here? Go semicircle around this side. That's the council. Semicircle to the council to the veterans. Maldives, they don't know what a semicircle is. Horseshoe! How about that? Horseshoe. Around that way, go that way. That way, yeah. Arch that way. That's the one. So to the council and to the veterans, we honor you. There was a 28th battalion that left the shores of New Zealand, Aotearoa. That was known as the Māori Battalion. They had A Company, B Company, C Company, D Company, from all of New Zealand. All the tribes were represented. Do you know that a lot of our composers, a lot of our men that knew all the genealogies, they went to that World War. I think it was World War II. There were some also in World War I, but in World War II, and we lost a lot of our good men, men that hold, held the culture, that held, held the histories, the genealogies of our people. And we suffer today because of that. But our rangatira, our chief, that brought all the tribes together, Apirananata, he said, this is a quest. And we were fighting for citizenship. And he names, he names that whole campaign as the price for citizenship. We haven't really got full citizenship, not like our relatives here, 
We have fishing rights, we have hunting rights. We just put in with the rest of New Zealand and it's like, go for it. But everyone's been doing it over the years and there's hardly anything to go for. It's like fishing in a bathtub. All you're gonna catch is a rubber duck or a, or a piece of soap. That's why we love your fish and your seafood here. So we're gonna perform to the veterans and to the council. Probably one last time, our haka. Kia ora. We haven't finished yet. We've got one last thing to do. We learnt a new thing when we come here to be with our relatives here. And it's called potlatching. Back home we call it koha. Koha. Ha is your breath. It's a sheer breath. And to thank the great spirit, to thank the Atua, to get, thank uh, our creator, God, call him who you may, is to give thanks above, 
queerest thing that we have. Our family are just organizing ourselves to get our gifts. And we say thank you very much. Back home, we'll turn up to a um, um, sort of like your long house. We call it a maraya, a meeting house. We'll do the speeches. We call it the pōhiri. We'll go through that ceremony. And at the end, we'll give koha, place koha on the ground. In the old days, they used to give food, bring and place food. Nowadays, we do it with money. But we've seen how the, our relatives roll over here and there's a whole lot of gifts that we give to the hosting tribe, to the host, to the elders. So hopefully our, our gifts can stretch through all the elders here. And if it does stretch through all the elders, then hopefully we've got enough for the crowds. But if we haven't, then I hope you take our songs, our culture, and treasure them. Treasure them here with you. Um, thank you very much. Kia ora. Even my wife saying, that's enough talking. I love talking. There's a proverb back home. Ko te kai o te rangatira, ko te kōrero. The food of the chief is talk. It's communication. You ain't gonna get nowhere if you ain't gonna communicate with another people. But, um, I, I'm sorry if I have gone on a bit too long, but I just wanna finish with, uh, we're gonna finish with one more last song and then we're gonna give our, our koha to, um, to the people here of Scottsdale Island. This song here is a beautiful song and it gives thanks and praise. A lot of the songs that we have sung today have praised and, and sung about uh, our Creator, the Great Spirit, God. We've sung those songs and we're gonna sing another one to finish off here. And we acknowledge all the different um, spiritual people here. We've heard prayers while we landed. Um, so to all those that represent the different religions, the different um, hahi, the different faiths, we greet you from the New Zealand Māori people, land of the long white cloud. Kia ora tātou. Um, just before we do that, see I, I told you I love talking. My grandmother passed away uh, about two days before we flew out from, from, um, from New Zealand. And so I asked John Smith, um, the, the main, our main chief of our, of our journeys here, if I could, um, with my family, honor my grandmother by wearing a, a, a black tag around our left, left arm. So a lot of our family wore them and I keep mine on because I, I still remember my grandmother. And as we were pulling away from from our hometown and driving six hours to the airport, we left about nine o'clock, eight o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock at night. And the very next day, my grandmother was buried. Um, I didn't go back, have the time to go back to her funeral, but I spent a lot of time with her just before she departed and, and, and returned home. So I hold those memories in my heart and I said to my family, we're gonna dedicate our pool to Squaxin Island for our, for our grandmother. And I know that she'll be proud of us and she's been watching over us. And I just wanted to make mention of that. And um, we're gonna sing our last song and, and do our koha. Kia ora tato.
Uh, kia ora everyone. Um, when I came down last year, I saw a tradition that uh, Henry here was saying we will hand out some gifts. So um, I'd like to call upon or someone direct me to our oldest leader, your oldest leader of the Squaxin tribe. Could someone please come forward or direct us to her or her? tradition that we kiss all the women. <laughs> so please send up, keep sending up your ladies, tribal leaders, we keep kissing them. We also like to acknowledge the elder statesman or Kaumato and elder male, please, but I won't kiss you. I promise. Any old elder? or a young looking elder. Hold your hand up, please. I'll, I'll send one of the girls so he can kiss you. Um, we also like to acknowledge one of your young male leaders or young youngest male. And I might also send out another girl to kiss him too. Young Mel, please. He wants to kiss him. A young female, please. Any young female? I saw her first. I heard uh, there was two canoes in the squawks and uh, flotilla. Could I have the two skippers up please too? And then one. All representatives. I'd also like to hand out some t-shirts to all the tribal leaders or the council. We'll take them up.
the t-shirts that we're giving out from our, our brother, John Smith, he designed them, he designed, uh, did the design, and so they're encrusted with the, the canoe and paddles from our lands, from Aotearoa, also with the Ojibwe, and also with uh, Skokomish. So that w they are the three canoe families that were going together with um, our older brother John Smith. So we thank our brother John Smith for allowing us to give these to the council. Thank you. The, um, we couldn't bring too many prisons with us because um, Air Alaska demanded a weight of dollar to carry too much thing on. So our, 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 our group is just handing out prisons at the moment and we'll probably um, close our, uh, close our get-together here with a prayer and we'll sing one more song as we uh, leave, the, uh, leave the protocol tent. Well, we're waiting for our warriors to, uh, and our girls to finish handing out gifts. I'd just like to, to introduce you to this young man here from Alaska. Um, his name is Manoa, uh, one of our great tattooers and carvers, Derek Ladelli. Um, when he came down here, so the story goes, and this young guy was only an ankle biter at that time, and he called around Derek Ladelli. And uh, Derek Ladelli gave him a name and changed his name into a Maori name. And this is Manoa. Manoa is the breath or the essence of life that we breathe in and out of us. So kia ora Manoa. He's a bit shy.
Kia ora everybody, um, it's come to the end of the, our session and I'd very much like to say thank you again uh, for everything that you've done and appreciate your hospitality, Squawks and people, much love, hands up to you guys. Bobby and the team, kia ora kia koutou. Before we finish we like to close a prayer and then after our prayer we'll sing a song and we'll slowly move off the, uh, off the, off the protocol of battle. Kira kia tātou. A ta whaitia mai rā mātou i hoa e noho atu nere to tene pauritanga. Tau e rā mātou e fiua e koe ki ngā fiua tau maha e nari haere mai awhinatia mai mātou. Ka koe e mātou e taka ke roto to hee ke roto hoki ngā raruru o te wā. Mā mātou koe e moe miti e te ao o i te pō. Tō ori a ki tō ingoa tapu. Āmine. Whakārea mai. Thank you, Maori Nation, Maori people. Thank you. Let's give them another round of applause, please.
It is simply beautiful to watch our uh, Aboriginal people, our Native people throughout, throughout the world, how they adopt people into their tribe and into their families just as, just as they've done. And uh, the giving and generosity that they carry in teachings. Thank you so much, Maury.